Can a building be kind? Let's find out on this week's Thursday Think. Is this a kind building? How about this one? Maybe this one is. Maybe this one is. Or what about this one? So a kind building is a concept I've been thinking about lately, just a little theory. Um, it's an exterior of a building that is designed in a polite manner. So what does exactly that mean? Um, and it depends on the mode of approach. So if you're walking, it's nice to see detailed signage about the business or the uh, building, overhead cover to protect you from the elements, space to stand, sit, and walk. So a nice wide, ample space to just be able to do different things as a human being. A water fountain, maybe you're thirsty, um, or the what, what I call the locked out test. So that is, if you go to a building and you, you can't open the door, you're waiting for somebody to come out and let you in, is it awkward to stand there? You know, is there things for you to do? Is there, can you peep the scene? Can you lean up against the wall and just be comfortable? Can you sit down somewhere until you can get in the building or make a phone call or, you know, so if you're locked out of the building, is it awkward? For people that bike, medium medium signage, so, you know, you can read it while you're biking and maybe stop. Um, Medium-sized signage. A bike rack to place your bike, obviously, it would be very kind of a building. Um, overhead cover to keep you from the elements, keep your bike uh, out of the elements as well. Maybe an air pump to, you know, maintain your bike a little bit. And important thing for bikes is, is it well lit? Is it secure? If you go into the building, can you kind of rely on somebody to be out there or to be able to peer out outside and see that your, build, your bike's safe? So that's a big element for bike kind buildings. And for cars, things get, get a little different. So you need to see large signage. You're moving so fast. Um, you got to be able to make a decision. Oh, this is where I want to go. What is building offering me? Ample parking, you know, that's the biggest thing about, okay, I'm actually at the building. Where can I let my car go? Um, fuel connection, maybe it has charging ports. You see a lot of those popping up. Or maybe it's a gas station and has gas. That's a very kind building to a car. An air pump. Um, the need not to leave a car. So like a drive through is a very kind building to a car. It's built for the car, um, more and more so with the architectural detailing that we've been seeing lately, um, and a car wash, maybe. Um, so let's just look at those examples we talked about earlier. Um, so right here, Jerry's Market on Statesville Avenue. This is an older building, um, and I would say this building does a couple things pretty good. So as you approach, you kind of have this um, angled, the building's kind of leaning towards you. Uh, kneeling down for you. So you get this covering, you get to step off the sidewalk, you got some space. Um, so this is an older building, but it's been able to be a very kind building to a lot of, uh, for the pedestrian, you know, if you're locked out, you still have this wall to just kind of post up by. Um, it's for the bike, there's no bike rack here, so they get points off for that. Um, so it's not that kind to bikes. To cars, you got your parking right here. Um, and it's easy to get in and get out. And uh, so, yeah, I'd give Jerry's Market, I'd give a 6 out of 10 kind building. Um, so I recently took a trip to, and I was in Port Royal, South Carolina. We were biking down this street, and it was just so pleasant. Um, it felt very nice. And then we biked under this building and I was like, how nice would it be to just be able to walk and this building just embraces you. You just get, all of a sudden you're in the building's grill and environment. And so it covers you, you know, advertising what's going on in here. It's got some seating. Um, so this is a very kind building. And even the building next to it um, embraces you as well. You know, you have kind of a change of levels. So even when you're right here, you're kind of in a safe public zone and if you step up here then you're obviously kind of entering the building you got some newspapers you got covering and it's right on the main walkway so it's just really embracing you and trying to invite you in 
So it's a pretty kind building. I give these two buildings, I'd give an eight out of 10. I'd love to see some bike racks, maybe a nine out of 10. I'd love to see some bike racks. That'd probably be a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, so this building in Uptown Charlotte, the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center, and I don't want to really talk about the entrance too much. Um, it does okay. It has a little canopy, but it's kind of an open air kind of thing. But this sidewalk has got to be the worst, most hostile building in Charlotte. So it's only wide enough to for one person to walk right here. And then another person has to dodge these trees. And you have to dodge this bridge connection here like even friends like these guys they got to walk so close together and they're walking staggered because you cannot really walk side by side without it being awkward and imagine what happens when somebody walks this way it just becomes a mess so this building is impeding the people experiencing the building leaving them with a negative feeling um i don't really know what the architect was trying to do here trying to make this kind of like arcade but it's just really thin and you're leaving and this isn't really a sidewalk. There's so many um, impediments here. Now, this building's definitely a, I mean, just this part of the building is a one out of 10. It's very unkind. There's, I think there's a bike rack somewhere over here, but I mean, it's just really, it's, it's not doing its job. Um, then we have the Bank of America Tower in Uptown Charlotte. Is this a kind building? Uh, let's find out. So as you approach this, I mean, there's a lot of seating and stuff outside the building, but as you get to the building proper, you just have this massive wall, this the tallest building between here and uh, DC and Atlanta. So obviously um, you're gonna have a scale that's gonna make as a pedestrian, you're gonna feel a little small, but thinking about the architecture, this is a bank headquarters. So you wanna feel secure and important and you know, so you have these large green columns, just super huge, the step back stone, you got security guards everywhere. So the intention of the building isn't very, to be very kind, I don't think. Um, but that said, doesn't really protect you from the elements. You don't feel very comfortable standing out here. Um, so as a pedestrian, as a, I mean, as a, a car rider as well, um, yeah, it's not really doing its job as a kind building, but maybe that's not its point. So I give it a three out of 10. And our last building is kind of, you could make a lot of different opinions about it. It's the bus depot in Uptown Charlotte. Um, so it's large, I mean, it's built for uh, pedestrians and people taking alternative forms of transportation. So you have this large overhang, so you're protected from the elements, and, but I think the scale works against this building actually. So you come in here, it's kind of dark, it's kind of, you know, you go on this sidewalk, there's all these people entering and exiting, you don't really feel safe just chilling here. Um, you know, I guess there's a bike rack here, but do you really feel safe if you left your bike here to go into the Burger King or something? Um, so despite it being a great thing for, you know, getting out of the weather, is it that kind of a building for the people it's serving? No, is it kind to cars? Absolutely not. So I give this building a three out of 10. But um, in conclusion, kind buildings are all about um, the building should consider who's using it and how to cater to them best. And this is just an exterior ex um, exploration. So how do you design an exterior entryway or you know perimeter of a building that embraces the people that are going to be walking by parking biking and how can it uplift um, those people or at least not be hostile to them um, thanks for watching we'll be back in a couple weeks for another thursday think